right. I might not be there for all your battles, but you'll win them eventually. I pray that I'm giving you all that matters. So one day you'll say to me, I love my life. I am powerful. I am beautiful. I am free. All right. I love my life. AOJ, you love your life? Yes, I right. do. Perfect. Okay. I'm really excited. So if you're looking for some delicious breakfast foods that are plant-based, then you're in the right place today. We are going to make some deliciousness uh, this afternoon. All right. So welcome to the Daily Energy Bite, the Deb Show. Uh, we're on at 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time every weekday. Uh, so this week we're in the kitchen cooking up some plant-based foods. All right. And looking for stuff that's easy and doesn't take long. So today we're going to do a granola, sorry, uh, a smoothie bowl. And we're what we're going to do is we're going to make some granola. And I want to show you how easy it is to make granola uh versus you know depending on where you go you can get some nice uh granola in the store that does doesn't have a lot of add it doesn't have the additive but it's pretty expensive and so i want to show you how you can make your own granola and just how easy it is uh and then um we're going to make a smoothie so we've got lots to do and then we're going to put together a smoothie bowl so uh, I kind of hear, you know, the smoothies are great. So what what's great about the smoothies is that you can get a lot of um, nutrients in to the smoothie and get a lot of those daily um, uh, foods that we were talking about yesterday. Uh, and it's pretty simple, easy to make. Uh, but if if you're looking for some crunch factor or you want to eat something, then the smoothie bowl is another way that you can get some of those uh, foods into you. So yesterday we were talking about uh, the recommended food choices if you're plant-based. Uh, so there's uh, a bunch of foods and we talked about eating a variety of foods uh, and uh, because every vegetable and fruit and, and different food uh, on the plant-based spectrum uh, has different nutrients and you want to have a variety so that you're covering your bases. If you're just eating the same things over and over again, you may only be getting some of the nutrients that you need. And we said to eat the rainbow because a lot of the color really represents the nutrients and the phyto uh, chemicals and vitamins and minerals that are in, in those foods so that you get an array of health benefits uh, for you. Uh, so today's uh, menu that we're putting together offers some balanced nutrition for you. So there's the combination of the granola and the smoothie bowl offers um, a, a balance of your macronutrients, which are your carbs, your fats, and your protein. And also there's lots of different vitamins and minerals. Uh, it's also high in fiber and protein, uh, which promotes feeling full and sustaining our energy for longer uh, throughout the morning. Uh, and for both of these uh, recipes, you know, you can customize it to make it what you want. So on that note, I think let's get started. So today we are going to, uh, we'll start with the granola as the base. And we're going to use both our food processor and our uh, blender today. So we'll start with the food processor. Get that out. So this recipe is, uh, comes from my, my mom, uh, my mom, Anne. So hi, Anne. Uh, and so a little bit of an adaptation on it. But um, I know uh, when I go to visit, I love to eat her granola. 
Uh, and um, yeah, I, I eat too much of it when I'm there. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to start with some walnuts here. So we've got walnuts. We're just putting things into the blender, uh, the food processor. We're going to do it with love here, uh, the recipe. So we've got a few, and then this is some almonds. So almonds and um, walnuts are uh, really great health, heart, uh, health, heart healthy fats, and they have protein, uh, lots of essential nutrients in them as well. Uh, and walnuts, they kind of look like little brains when you see them. And so um, they, they're also good for the brain. And that's kind of uh, a little bit of a, a puzzle together with them uh, looking like a little brain. So we're getting some brain health as well. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pulse this so that it becomes a fine meal um, before we do anything else. So I'll probably... All right, so that doesn't take very long. It's kind of a fine meal there. A little bit of chunkiness here and there is okay. Uh, and we are going to add our oats next. Uh, so we've got oats here uh, that we used those yesterday as well. So we're going to put in our oats. And the oats are a fiber powerhouse. Uh, they uh, are uh, really uh, rich in soluble fiber uh, for um, our digestion uh, and also helps uh, to keep us uh, satisfied and um, that satiety uh, keep us full for a while. Uh, and then um, they have uh, minerals like manganese, phosphorus, and magnesium in them. And I know magnesium is a pretty, pretty uh, uh, big uh micronutrient uh, used by our body it use our we use a lot of magnesium so i'm just going to give this a pulse to mix it in all right and then we are going to add some fruit i'm using cranberries today i've got some dry cranberries i'm adding in to this recipe and so when i when you're buying your, if you're buying cramp, you can put in raisins or other dried fruit. Uh, but if you're using cranberries, when you go to the store, watch um, some of the uh, cr dried cranberries are, uh, have a lot of sugar in them. So the ones that I bought, they have sugar in them through um, apple juice. It's uh, added apple juice concentrate, but you have to really look at your labels because some of them have quite a bit of sugar. In them. So I'm going to pulse this again. So we're kind of doing one at a time, pulsing. All right, and we have that done. And next we are going to add in some sunflower seeds. Got some sunflower seeds, and these are raw. All these um, are raw, not uh, roasted. Uh, and so then I also have pepita seeds or pumpkin seeds, depending on where you're from, uh, you might see them as pepita or pumpkin seeds. And those are raw as well. Uh, so both these uh, provide us with protein and healthy fats, and they're um, excellent sources of zinc and magnesium as well, especially the pepita seeds. All right, we're gonna pulse this in as well. Got that in, and now we are going to add some shredded coconut here. So I've got my coconut flakes that I've got, uh, or you can have shredded coconut. I'm gonna add that in. So again, we've got healthy fats uh, in the coconut as well as fiber. Um, so this is also adds a little bit of a coconut, not too much of a coconut flavor. There's not a ton in here, but just a little, a little hint. So we're gonna pulse this again. All right, and so that's kind of a mix of our dry ingredients now. A couple of houses. 
So what I'm going to do is I am going to put this to the side. I'm going to put the uh, this dry mixture into a into a I guess a mixer here, like a bowl, just for a bit while I do the liquid side. That way we're only using one. Um, one we don't have to use the blender or anything for that as well. Okay. So let's do that. So let's put that to the side. Put this back in. Be careful with the blade. Put this to the side. We are going to put our kind of wet ingredients. So I have a couple of dates here that I've soaked for about 15 minutes or so. You don't have to soak them long. I have a, a banana I'm going to add to this. So I'm just going to break up the banana. And I also have some, I, I cubed up a, diced up an apple. This one, I used a honey crisp apple. You can use whatever apple you have or you like. It doesn't have to be a specific one. So I would say this is one large honey crisp. Uh, you can use, um, uh, it's about a cup to a cup and a half of uh, apple. And I'm going to add a little bit of my water. Where did it go? So I have the water here. And I'm just going to add about a quarter of a cup. So I soaked my uh, dates in here. I'm using that soaking water. So not too much. And then... I'm going to blend this in the food processor, make it into a paste, a kind of a little bit runny paste. So here we go. All right, doing well. We're also going to add in, I almost forgot, I have uh, got to have some spice. I have some cinnamon here as well. So the apple and the banana and the um, uh, date gives some sweetness to our uh, granola. And also uh, they've got lots of nutrients. So there's this old adage about an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So uh, we're going to use um, those um, to do it add some sweetness and also the liquid to hold everything together. All right, looks pretty good. So if I look at that, uh, you can see it's a little bit runny. It's not too, it's still got some uh thickness to it but it's a little bit on the runny side so then what we're going to do is add back the granola mixture the dry mixture back into the uh, food processor just throw that in there we're going to mix it up and then we have our granola we have to bake it first but anyway all right so let's put it all together now and we're just going to pulse this to mix it until it gets to be kind of like in a ball. When it starts sticking together and looks like it's forming a ball, then it's about right. Uh, so we're going to take our mixture put it onto a baking sheet and press it out. And so our oven is at three, or sorry, 275. So it's at a low temperature. Uh, if you want, you can dehydrate this instead of baking it. It's uh, great in the dehydrator as well. So we're just gonna place this on the baking sheet. Watching my, being careful with my uh, blade here. Put this all on the baking sheet and then we just press it out on the baking sheet to about like about a quarter to a half an inch, I guess, somewhere in there, somewhere around there. And then we're going to pop that into the oven. 
All right. So we just press it all out. And once it's been pressed out, which you can do that, you pop it into the oven. So we bake it for about um, 50 minutes. Uh, so you can turn it around uh, 25 minutes if you want in your oven. Um, and then I will, when it, it's uh, kind of golden brown, then you can take it out of the oven, let it cool. And when it's cool, you should have some granola and you can just uh, put it into like squares. So here's what it looks like when it's all done. And so that's pretty easy. Uh, you can, you, you can, uh, you know, mix and match uh, different things. If you like, um, say, pecans instead of walnuts, you could do pecans. Um, so there's lots of options for um, how you make your, um, um, use, you know, your dried fruits can be different too. So you can kind of um, do some of your own creativity with your, your granola and you, if you have a dehydrator and you're uh, uh, doing that. So I think it takes uh, around eight hours uh, and you have to flip it halfway uh, to, uh, and you'll have your granola uh, and it'll be a raw granola. All right. Okay, OJ, how was that? That was awesome. That was amazing. Wow. Well, that was Pretty easy to make, I think. I hope. Yeah, it doesn't take really all that long. That and have so. a taste of it. Very yeah. easy. It, yeah. It smells good once you know that cinnamon and all that in the air. It smells really good, for sure. So now we're going to make a smoothie. So uh, this is a green smoothie. So we're we're putting fruits and vegetables into our smoothie and I have a sort of kind of a, a smoothie re I guess a template recipe uh, that you know you start with um, a liquid uh, which is going to be it can be an, um, that milk so the one that I'm going to make today is a strawberry banana smoothie that's going to be the base of our bowl. It's my, I'm making that one because that's my favorite one. I love that one. Uh, but similar to the um, granola, you can uh, switch it up. And so if you're, uh, smoothies are a great way to get your nutrients in, uh, you know, to make sure that you get all of the, you know, the leafy greens, get a, getting some of your fruit in every day. Uh, so if you, uh, it's recommended to have a smoothie or you could have a juice, but a smoothie uh, once a day, um, you could have it for breakfast or you can have it for lunch. And if you're tired of smoothies, you want a little bit of a variety, maybe you want to have something with it, then this is why we're doing the smoothie bowl. So I'm going to start by adding about a cup of, um, of uh, oat milk that we made yesterday. So we have that. We have our oat milk, uh, and then we're going to add in some fruit. So I have a banana. So I'm going to do half a banana. So when you're adding your fruit, you don't even have to measure. You can say a small handful. And so I've got a banana here. I'm going to put in my banana. And then I'm going to add, I like to add um, frozen. I like my uh, smoothies cold. So I like to add frozen um, fruit. Uh, so I'm gonna add some frozen strawberries. And also uh, what I'll do with the bananas is if, especially our family, we don't go through a lot of bananas. So if we have bananas, what I'll do is I will um, peel them, break them in half and then freeze them uh, in the freezer. And then I could just take a half of a frozen banana and throw it in. So rather than the bananas go to waste, if we're not going to eat them before they go too ripe. And I'm just going to run 
to my freezer to get my strawberries. Give me a sec. Okay. All right. That was fast. I got, so I, I use these. Are, yeah, um, that was fast. Sorry? Of course, I have to open. It's a has never been opened, so I got to open the bag. So these are, so I'm just using a small handful of strawberries. So I've got a little handful of strawberries here. Good to add those in. And then I'm going to add my uh, leafy greens. So you can use different vegetables. Uh, I have a little smoothie book if you're interested. I'll share the link where you can grab the um, uh, recipe and the, um, the template uh, for smoothies. Uh, but um, this is like a big handful of leafy greens or other vegetables. Uh, in my smoothie book, I've got seven different smoothies. I'm going to just throw that in. And they are all um, smoothies that um, have kind of a variety. So I have a chocolate smoothie. I have a, um, this one is in there. Uh, I've got a, one that's made with asparagus. So, that, you know, you you can do a lot of things with the smoothie. You don't have to have always the same one, but this is my favorite. So I've got now two small handfuls of um, fruit, a big handful of my uh, leafy greens. I've added in spinach. Uh, so this is now giving us our nutrient-rich greens. Uh, spinach is loaded with vitamin A and K, folate, iron, antioxidants, uh, you name it. So it supports bone health and uh, immune function and contributes to our overall nutrient intake. So this is one way to get in your, your greens. And then we had, uh, you talked about chia seeds and how they are great for uh, a weight booster, weight loss booster. So we're going to add in some chia seeds, which gives us our omega-3 fatty acids, and it also gives us our fiber. Uh, and we're going to grind it up in there. Um, uh, so that's kind of gives us a little of that. You can also do um, um, uh, flaxseed or other other things as well. And then I am going to, now we have the granola in our granola bar, so we've got a lot of nuts, but I'm going to add, just for today, I've got some nut, uh, almond butter. So what that does is it gives a little bit of flavor and you end up with a nutty flavor in your smoothie, which just a little hint of a nice uh, one. You can add some, uh, other um, adaptogens, uh, like you could add a medicinal mushroom, you could add some different, uh, like a maca powder or ashwagandha or some, a little uh, sprinkle of different powders. You know, if you have that, you can do if you're something you're taking. And then you can add a flavor bomb. So my flavor today is a vanilla. So I'm just going to add around a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to guess here a little bit. So I've got my vanilla in there, and that's it. I'm gonna then uh, blend this. So ready for the blender, OJ? Okay, here we go. So we're gonna go on silent for a little bit. Yeah, oh, it's ready. Turn it on. All right. Yeah. <laughs> not we can always blend it a little bit more and that's that's how easy it is to make a smoothie uh, so this is a green smoothie here and you can uh, now we're going to just put the two things together I have a bowl that I have here 
I'm just going to add some of this smoothie here, the smoothie to the bottom. Now, one of the things that you could do is cut back on the liquid so it's a little thicker. And I've got a lot of um, smoothie here, so I'm going to have my smoothie with it uh, as well. I can drink it. And then I've got some fruit that I cut up. And I have my granola. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer of fruit on the side here. I've got banana. So I'm going to do one. It's like a half a banana. I'm going to add a little bit of granola on the side here. Then I'm going to add some color with my strawberries in the middle. Love my strawberries. Mm -mm -mm. Add their little strawberries. Gonna add another little row of granola here. Chunk, chunk it in. And then I have apple as well. So I'm gonna add some apple into my smoothie here. I've got I cubed up um a um, honey crisp apple. So I'm going to add it to the other side here. And so there. Just add another little couple of pieces. And then I have a smoothie bowl. So now how do I get it so you can see it? I got to, can you see it? Yes, I can. It looks good. All right. And so there beautiful. you've got. I can yeah, see you've it. You've got fruit and yeah. you've got your smoothie. And I have enough smoothie. I can drink some as well. So I could kind of get the both, best of both worlds. Okay, OJ, that's how easy it is to make that for breakfast. Or you could have it for lunch or a snack. You could have your granola with a uh, cup of tea in the afternoon. Um, lots of different ways that you can do it. Uh, so any questions for today? Yeah, I have a question. Sure. So I wanna know if um, for the smoothie, the green smoothie, can we use green apples for the green smoothie? Yes, And absolutely. maybe more of cucumbers as well? Uh-huh, you can okay. use cucumbers as well. Yes, okay. absolutely. Right. So there, you, you can use any okay. uh, vegetable and any fruits uh, that you want. So it, it's just a matter of keeping the right portions. So you've got your two portions of, okay. of um, fruit, whatever you want, and then you can do uh, a vegetable, so kind of a handful or a cup of vegetables, and then um, add in your liquid. So you, for liquid, you can use water, okay. you can use oat, like you can use uh, nut milk or oat milk, you can use uh, coconut water. Uh, so there's, you know, it's, it, it's not, you could use like a, uh, a kefir or or a kombucha if you wanted it, that you can do as well uh, but you know the number of combinations of smoothies that you can make is basically as many as your imagination <laughs> so and your creativity so there's tons of different options with the smoothies uh, and very easy to make so um, but that's just the general recipe and here we have it any more questions? Okay. All right. So we will sign um, I think that's all for today. Sorry? That's all for today, yeah. That's all for today, okay. So tomorrow we are going to be back in the kitchen. Yeah, I don't have any more questions. Yes. Okay, okay. sounds good. Oh. All right, so we're great. back in the kitchen tomorrow. And we are going to be making a, or not making, we're going to be going through knife skills because one of the things on, when you're plant-based, you're, you, you're cutting up a lot of vegetables and fruits and things. So it's really important uh, to uh, go through the knife skills and 
learn how to use the knife properly. I had no idea for 50-ish years or 50-some years how to use a knife properly. And that will help uh, if once you get into the rhythm, it makes it easier to cut up your vegetables. Uh, and I got to say, I cutting up vegetables is a therapy for me, uh, for sure. But you definitely uh, are probably going to end up cutting up more vegetables when you're plant-based or, or leaning towards being plant strong. Uh, so we'll go through the, the uh, knife skills tomorrow. And on that note, uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can leave them in the chat. You can DM or email me. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any other topics that you'd like to, to uh, listen to or have me talk about, um, I would uh, really like to get your feedback. And on that note, we are signing off for today and we will see you back here tomorrow. Thanks, OJ. Put some music on to finish it off. Thank you. All right, let's do it. Yay. Oh, my music. So completely. One day our hands will be strong enough to hold me. I might not be there for all your battles, but you'll win them eventually. I pray that I'm giving you all that matters.